In this video I'm going to attempt to show you how to back up your iPad in iTunes on your home computer. Um, first thing you need to do is make sure that you have iTunes downloaded on your computer. I included a link in the email about this uh, for you to download that. It is a fairly large file so you know it may take a little time to do that. Uh, when you're ready open up your iTunes After your iTunes opens, you'll want to plug your iPad into your computer, which I'm doing now. Okay, It tells me that a newer version of iTunes is available, but I'd like to download it now. I'm going to pass on that at this time. Um, now that I've connected my iPad over here, I see my iPad coming up. Okay. And so I clicked on that button there. And here I have my iPad, um, and what I want to do is I want to back it up. And so I'm going to do this computer, a full backup of your iPad will be stored on this computer, and I'm going to say backup now. Now if you've never, I do want to back up apps, if you have never backed up your computer before, or your iPad before, or connected it to your computer you may need to authorize your computer to access your iPad your iPad may also ask you if you want to trust this computer and you want to say yes so I'm gonna pause the recording at this time and we'll come back when it's done backing up you'll notice at the top the bar is moving here for the backup okay I did receive this a warning it says this computer is no longer authorized for apps that are installed on iPad or Spurl's iPad. Would you like to authorize this computer for items purchased from iTunes Store? If you do not authorize the computer, seven apps, including MyTube, and their data will be deleted. So I'm going to click Authorize. And here I have the CI iTunes, so I need to enter that password. And I'm going to Authorize. That that Apple ID and password came up okay that Apple ID and password came up because the apps that need to be backed up are with the CI iTunes at cambridge.k12.mn.us iTunes account but that iTunes account is already associated with five computers so it looks like I'm not going to be able to authorize and back those up, so I'm going to have to just lose the data on those. Okay, as you can see, it's been going for a little while now. I'm copying app 194 of 236, so this may take a little while. So just be patient as it backs up all of your data. All right, it finished it pretty much all of my apps. Uh, there's about four minutes remaining, it says, with my iMovie and some other things. So it's making progress. All right, it looks like I'm down to one more item downloading. You'll notice my iPad's 32 gigabytes, so it's probably, you know, it's twice the size of yours, so it takes a little bit longer to back up. But that's all right. Um, just a little bit longer, and we'll see what happens next. Okay, just under 10 seconds left to go. All right, it looks like it is done being backed up. Notice it says the latest backup was 9.06 a.m. this morning. So for the size of my iPad, it took almost a half hour to back up because it's taking all of the data from my iPad and moving it into my iTunes account on my computer. So that is how you back up your iPad onto your iTunes account. Let us know if you have any questions.